Hi, good morning guys and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 is still bouncing around that potential support at 16,738. And that's obviously coming off quite a strong sell off that we had midweek as World Bank load forecast. And obviously, we had that kind of conflict to suddenly spring out of nowhere in Iraq. And uh, obviously, you still have things going off in Ukraine as well. So there's a lot of uh, geopolitical elements in play right now. We're actually seeing that uh, crude oil is continuing to move higher. It's now at 107 spot 50. See a lot more gold buying as well. Uh, and there's not a lot of encouragement in regards to people wanting to buy equities right now. There seems to be a lot of uncertainty. But there is a lot of economic data and um, some regions are doing a little bit better than others. So this is where the US 30 stands right now. This level looks to be relatively strategic in the short term. Looking at the UK 100, the UK 100 is just ever so slightly down this morning. Obviously, you had a real bad uh, movement there on uh, on Friday, and that was mainly in the back of uh, the potential uh, early rate hike, which has catapulted uh, cable up to 170. It touched at one point today, and uh, was quite uh, quite negative for a lot of uh, UK equities, especially UK home builders, which are usually FTSE 250. Some of them were down about five or six percent yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, on Friday. And uh, nevertheless, we are at potential support at 67.74. Next potential support is at 67.13, but we are bouncing off that 55 period SMA, which might provide short term support. Looking at Japan 225, it's also come off uh, a little bit after its real good move there on um, Friday uh, on the Bank of Japan governor's um, confidence statements on the economy. Um, but nevertheless, it's not been able to, uh, to stem the bleed. Most global markets uh, got hit quite hard there uh, uh, last week, and the Japan 25 is just playing a little bit of catch up there as well. So currently trading below 49.77, which could be uh, short term support. So looking at dollar yen, uh, dollar yen has been moving to the downside quite uh, zigzaggedy. Um, we are st still in the middle of two ranges right now. We are looking like we might be capped with that 21 and 55 period SMA. Next potential support is at 101 spot 35. The real pair to have a look at, as ever, is Euro Yen, which is still moving quite far down. Now trading at 137. If you want to get that exposure to the to the Euro, um, uh, to the downside, Euro Yen seems to be the place to look at just now as well. So having a look at that, uh, Crude Oil West Texas, still going great guns there. Slight doji formation there on Friday, but um, even though things are slightly improving in Iraq at the moment, uh, you do have a deteriorating situation in Ukraine with the shooting down of the uh, of that military jet there, I think it was on Friday or Saturday, um, by pro-Russian forces. And obviously the fact that now NATO have noticed that, um, or have managed to prove that the Russians are actually sending tanks um, into uh, Ukraine. So things are looking a little bit dicey there as well. So a lot, a lot of things helping to support crude oil uh, especially West, West West Texas as well. Uh, the longer term potential resistance still remains around about 109, but you could be looking beyond that in the future if things get out of hand. Keep your eye on Iraq for that in that regard as well. See if the um, Iraqi government managed to make many gains. So looking at gold, uh, gold's loving all this risk right now, all this uncertainty. It's having an absolutely fantastic, fantastic time. 1295 is the next potential resistance. Uh, we are coming up close to uh, that 55 period SMA right now. Uh, as ever, as, as things continue to get worse, so you see things um, kind of um, you know, escalating in Ukraine, uh, the Iraqi government begin to lose further control. They seem not to be at this stage, but if they do, uh, and obviously all the other unrest we have in other parts of the world, uh, gold is lapping it up right now. So um, you're not seeing exactly like loads and loads of yen uh, buying, uh, especially against dollar yen, because uh, that's usually always a safe haven right now. Euro yen seems to be where I'm seeing a lot of action this morning, but gold is really doing quite well, but it's had a great couple of sessions. So uh, let's see if that's able to continue that on. So let's have a look at Euro dollar. Euro dollar is moving lower again. Um, so one spot 34.55 is the next potential uh, support. It does look like it might have some little short-term support around about 135.00. Because um, we have, obviously at this this is the tip of our candle there and last uh, the uh, the ECB uh, rate cut. Uh, that could be a level worth looking at. We're firmly below all the moving averages and a lot of the other technical indicators are kind of relatively neutral-ish. So there could be still further move, uh, movement uh, either side. We are in the middle of two ranges, obviously, so we do move back up. We could be looking at one spot 35.68, um, but potential support, one spot 34.55. And if we finish up with GBP USD, uh, this is really fantastic movement that we've seen. Uh, 
170 is obviously uh, short term resistance. We've got to get above uh, 170, get a close but above that. Then we could be looking at one spot 70, 42. Uh, and then I need to relook at my chart to see where the next potential res resistance is. But um, basically, great guns right here just now. And uh, an early rate hike for the UK uh, should be seen as a confidence in the state of our economy. Uh, you will get short term shocks in the equity markets, and obviously, cables reacting quite strongly to that possibility just now. Um, so keep your eye on this. 170 is a level to watch. So, economic data wise, CPI and uh, RPI due at 9.30. Basically, any UK news from now on, anything that's positive, makes it way more likely we're going to raise our rates uh, at, the, at the end of 2014, which is what some analysts are, are, are thinking. Every week bit of data will dent that. So you might see exaggerated moves in GBP USD. Um, so do keep that in mind. ZEW business report. And uh, matter of fact, that's, uh, that's Tuesday. Uh, we've got a fast forward there on to Monday there. So you've actually got um, consumer price index there today at 10. Uh, so that UK data is actually due tomorrow. I should point that out. Uh, that's actually where you'll want to see some, some cool stuff happening. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever and make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.